Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are here everyone, ladies and gentlemen, back with some more Attack on Titan. This being the 17th episode of the fourth season, the first episode of the final season part two, whatever you want to say, doesn't really matter. All that matters though is that we are back with some more Attack on Titan. It feels great and I'm not going to talk much. I, I just want to get into this, honestly. I'm really excited. I already made two other videos uh, for AOT today with the OP and the ED, so if you guys missed those, definitely go check those out. But we know where we left off. Marley retaliating. Marley's response. Peak uh, pointing at Aaron, like who the enemy is. Reiner coming in. We have Reiner and Aaron about to go uh, at it. And just from what we saw with the trailer, from what we saw even with the OP, like when I did that reaction, and even the ED, like this season, this part, whatever you want to say, it's about to be fucking madness. So, uh, yeah, let's hop in to episode 17 of the fourth season, everyone, and see what we're going to have with it. Here we go. I, I, we all saw this in the trailer, but, I mean, damn, it looks so bad. I, I'm still saying he's all right, though. They, they're not going to get me with that. He's dead. I don't, I don't believe you, Hanch. <laughs> he said, let me see him. I have to confirm. Flock smart. He's just not going to leave it at that. Oh, uh, what's happening here? The timing of it kind of works out good for us because I definitely think Levi is still alive. The sun's coming out. Okay. This is from the heavens. Well, there's the Wonder Boy. There, There's Zeke alive. I mean, we figured he was going to be alive, but what just transpired here? <laughs> look at the look on his face. <laughs> oh, Hans is dipping. Uh, might as well take that opportunity. Yeah, so Levi's still alive. What happened to you? What what went out of there? What did you just see? Some girl I've never seen before was molding body on. Brought him back to life? Where is this at? Or what what plate? Felt like it took years and years. I was in the paths. I was in the paths. Oh, they're gonna go into that. I've been waiting for them to go into that. This man is just butt ass naked. <laughs> All we have to do now is keep moving forward. Him and Aaron on that same. Keep moving forward, yep. All right, episode 76, Judgment. But man, I gotta say, I could not get over that OP. How damn good that OP is, for real. Oh, now we back. It's begun. War. We gonna have Aaron and Reiner again going at it, but like Marley on the, on the counter attack. Yeah, come on, Gabby. Peak was goaded for this scene. She really was. I don't believe in Marley, but the comrades we fought with. Blood, sweat, and tears, yes. There he is. My goat. My man, Reiner. Oh, they literally they literally in the middle of all this shit. Like, this is not good. Like, what, what's our next action? Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> peak. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. I guess that was their next course of action. Oh, here they go. Oh my god, we in. <laughs> that looks kind of goofy. And we out. That's why they did it, because you weren't going to expect that. He's saying they have to have something else then, or something or more. They're going to try to play it safe, essentially. Is Aaron going to do that, though? Or is he going to do shit on his own? He, he's not listening to them. Could this be a sign? Like, is he actually going to go through what Zeke and all of them are planning? Or is he gonna? Is he have his own agenda, his own plans? Like this could just be a little precursor to that. Let's go! They going again. They going again, baby. My boy, my boy. It was Reiner too. It was Reiner. So that's what he was talking about before. They kind of, uh, they got him a little shook. They got the Jaegers a little shook. Come on, come on. I think we saw this in the trailer. This cut right here. Reiner. Oh, it's looking clean. It's looking clean. Jeez, are, how far is he pushing him? Oh, my God. Gabby's been through so much shit. Uh, he's like, I got to be, I got to do my job. I, I like, I was letting my, don't let my emotions get the better of me. Yeah. And with him being one of the warrior, potential warrior candidates. And there's that whole thing with the spinal fluid, too. What are the odds of the enemy using the founders? power who knows what aaron's gonna do but he has to meet up with zeke that's still the thing right right founding titan and the titan of royal blood that's what you have to have for, to be able to fully util utilize the founding titan can't let the two of them come into contact gotta prevent that by all costs 
But then on their end, we know why they want to bring them together with their whole euthanasia plan. Man, Reiner on some Hajime no Ippo shit. Look at him. <laughs> Look how he coming in there. Oh my God. Oh, he's winding up. Ooh. Oh. Damn. Oh, he dodged that one. Reiner. Oh, I thought he was going to get back at him right there, but nope. Damn. He's really already getting used to the War uh, Warhammer Titan powers. Or maybe not. He has the two of them to deal with right here, too. You got to deal with the two of us right here. Uh, yeah, your back and your front. Oh. The, de the amount of detail right there with those... Is that it for them? There's no way, right? Hey, this is a good sign. Seeing them, move, like, the movement like this, I, I think it's actually looking really good. Ooh. Peak with the snipe. Dude. Oh, my God. The the amount of detail. I am loving it. Oh, that's raw as fuck. That is raw as fuck. And we were seeing that earlier in this part with the kind of weaponry that Marley has been working on that is good against the Titans. Oh my god, they're literally dropping like flies. Sheesh. Marley, Marley, it looks like Marley got the advantage kind of right here. Yelena's like, no, my plan. Oh, Galliard. Oh yeah, so they're good. I was like, what? The way they were pierced right there was snipe coming in. Jeez. He didn't even try to, like, dodge or anything, or, or what? What is he What is he doing, or what is he thinking? Oh, is this the cut from the trailer where he, like, runs at him? Yeah. Sheesh. Is he really, is this really a loss? Nobody needs to suffer anymore. You don't need to suffer it. Oh, dude. Wait, I know what he's doing. He's going to try and get them to help Aaron. But with what, with how Aaron has been lately, what are they going to do? Are they actually going to try and help him? Oh my God. What are they going to do? Oh, Connie. If I ever defied Yelena, she would have. Yelena would be the one to do some shit like that. Me too. Me too, man. I mean, it's just so much backstabbing and so much, ah, oh, dude. So much emotion from Connie, man. It's like, like what Reiner was just saying there to Aaron too, like, you don't have to suffer anymore. Like, let this be done with Like Connie was kind of saying something similar there too. I swear I didn't know about the wine and the euthanasia plan. I think he was saying that before too. They weren't supposed to know, but they did know. But I, I want to believe this man, right? I feel like he is an honest man. So they're going to save them, but put a stop to the euthanasia plan? He loses two. Okay, okay. So they're saying as long as we have those two, there is still potentially a way without having to do that? What do you want to do, Mikasa? Yeah. What is it really? I think that was just a lie. I still believe that too. I think we, I said that in that episode. I would hope not, but you don't know with Aaron right now. Yeah, that is true. Like who cares what Yelena and Zeke are planning or what they want to do. When it comes down to it, it's up to Aaron himself. Could use the rumbling to protect the island. Dude. Oh my god. It's like literally the reverse of what we just saw happen in Marley. And they ended there. What is going on with Aaron? Like, what is he doing? He just kind of let them, you know, he just, it, it seemed like he just let them do that. I, maybe he couldn't move or maybe something was restricting him or something during that. But I mean, he was dealing with Reiner, Galliard, and Peak. Which, I mean, that that artillery, that weaponry they're using, I mean, we, we saw little glimpses of it before, I think, right? But, I mean, man, that was doing, uh, dealing major damage. So, oh, yeah. It feels great. 
uh, to be back with AOT. And I, I think what really stands out the most to me about this episode, probably the Aaron and Reiner fight, because y'all know, I, I love both of their characters so much, but you know how much I love uh, Reiner too. But also uh, the part with Armin definitely there at the end and kind of what they were talking about and what it really comes down to, what is going... I think there was a little glimpse in here. Like I said, that might be a little precursor with Aaron's character and where he's at right now. Like, we don't know what the heck he's planning or if he has his own agenda or what he wants to do, if he actually wants to go with Zeke and, and, and Yelena. And, and that's sort of the, the thought process that Armin was thinking of right there, uh, a potential alternative, I guess, uh, besides, like, the euthanasia plan. But, yeah, like... Aaron may seem like, oh, he's followed certain plans with uh, Zeke and Yelena, or he's been this certain way to Armin and them, but they really know Aaron. I mean, they've spent a lot of time with him. They know him for who he is, probably the most out of anyone, right? Out of Zeke, out of Yelena, out of Flock, or whoever, you know? So that's also what they were bringing up. Like, they know him more than anyone, so would he really do something like this? Was he really maybe looking out for them when he said that stuff to Mikasa and when he beat this shit? out of Armin so but really what it comes down to it when it's all said and done however this is all about to play out the decision comes on the founder it comes on to Aaron really liked uh what we had with this episode we're back in with AOT it's only gonna get crazier from here I mean this episode was wild Marley just uh, this was a big bounce back definitely from Marley's side of things uh when you really think about it and I mean look at the the, the losses from the from the Eldia side and like the Jaegers or whatever you want to say. Big, big losses uh, on their end. So, uh, yeah, really liked what we had with, uh, what's his name? Uh, on, I don't know how to pronounce his name. On, on Yang Kump, uh, Poco or something like that. On Yang Poco. <laughs> I'm terrible at pronouncing his name. I always butcher it. I can't remember it all the time. It's a pretty long name, to be fair. But I did like what we had with him as well. And he seems like a pretty honest person. I mean, you never know, but... He just seems like a genuine, like that kind of uh, guy. And he was even bringing up valid points for why uh, he wouldn't be lying necessarily. And Armin's a smart dude as well. So for him to kind of be like, okay, I believe him. He kind of puts it, puts it, uh, puts it together, puts it into perspective. I mean, I think we're good on, on that and hopefully, but uh, yeah. Also, I mean, all that shit happened. It made me almost forget about the Zeke shit, dude. Like that Zeke shit was crazy. Like, what was that? I mean, he, obviously he was talking about, like, that he was that was the paths he was in or whatever. But, I mean, was he actually dead? And he literally just got essentially resurrected? With I mean, damn. And the way he was wording it, too, like, he said it felt like so many years passed. So like, time is, like, I guess accelerated in there or something. And, I mean, the way he looked when he came back, it was like, I don't know. It felt like, in a way, he was a different being or some shit. I don't know if that was just me, but that, that's how I felt about it. So that is definitely something that is going to be a big topic point uh, of this part, is that whole thing with the paths and that girl and obviously the court and the founder um, and all of that. So, uh, yeah, we will see what happens in the next episode. It feels great, uh, as I've said for like the million time, being back with Attack on Titan. Let me know what y'all thought of this episode. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.